In this video, we are going to add a profile page to our existing Angular signup app and allow the user to upload their own display picture through Firebase Storage. Hey everyone, I'm Zeb Khan and I'm a front-end engineer. In the previous series of videos, we created a signup page using Angular and Firebase Authentication. Today is a bonus video in which we are going to add a profile page to that same app and we're going to allow the user specifically to upload a profile picture using Firebase Storage. So let's get started. So first we have to enable storage in our Firebase console. To enable storage, we're going to go in storage in our Firebase console and click on get started. It's going to give us an option of start in test mode or in production mode. We're going to choose test mode for now, but uh, for a real app, obviously you will need to go into production mode and specify the rules in which anyone can add or delete data from your storage. Let's go to the next section. It's going to uh, set a location for uh, your storage. We need to not change this here. Okay. So we click done and our storage bucket is all set up. Next, we need to confirm in our app whether our storage identifier is set. So we are going to go in our environment file here and we can see that, okay, our storage bucket is already specified here. Lastly, we need to add an import for our Firebase storage module and we are going to add it on the same pattern as we added it for the auth module. So we are going to use provide storage and here we are going to return get storage. Great. So now we are all set up for using Firebase storage in our app. So now let's create a new component called profile, which will have our profile data. So we're going to create ng generate component and we're doing in the components folder. Great. We have our profile component now. Now let's go in our app routing module here and we're going to add a root for profile. The component will be profile component here that we just added. And for the permissions, we're going to keep it the same as we have for other logged in pages. So we redirect to login. Okay. Since we only want uh, authorized users to be able to use a profile component. Great. Now let's get building our UI. Let's go into our profile.component HTML and we're going to create a div here. We'll add a class of form container as we did before and a mat elevation Z5. And also we'll add a text center here because we want to keep everything centered. Let's also uh, serve our app so that we can see what it looks like now. Okay, so here we are logged in with our previous user and we're going to go in profile. Okay, we need to add a profile option to this and we'll do that. Okay, so we have our form container here. The next thing that we need to do is to add a title here. So we're going to call it user profile. Great. And then we're going to add a div and an image inside of it. Image tag. Now for the image tag, we're going to set a width of 120 and a height of 120. Okay. And uh, we're going to give uh, the source should be your photo URL for the logged in user. But how do we get it here? So we're going to add that same observable that we included in our other components. And we're going to include the auth service here. Okay. And we're going to add a user observable, current user. And we're going to add an NGF here with the user uh, piped in with the async pipe and an alias of user. And then we are going to use user.photo URL to get the current user's uh, profile photo URL. Great. Now, when we test this out, so if you try looking at the image right now, you'll see that there's nothing there. And that is because the photo URL is empty. So we need to add a placeholder image in such cases. So we have copied a placeholder image in our assets folder images image dash placeholder.png and we are going to add a nullish coalescing operator here and we will give assets images image placeholder and now we can see our image placeholder here okay let's add some styling here so we're going to add a class here of profile image and then we're going to um, go in our CSS and we're going to add some style to the image so that it looks better so here what we did is we added a border radius of 100% which is going to make it circle and we added an object fit an object position so that if the image is of different sizes it's going to try to fit into that box okay let's see how this looks great it looks much better so next we want to add an input field so that we can 
get the upload for the image so we are going to add it here and we're going to write input here the type for this would be file because we want to prompt that file uploader dialog uh, we also we're going to make it hidden because we don't want to show it and we want it to be triggered from another button we also want to add a template variable for this input field so that we can invoke its click method so now let's quickly add the button that is going to trigger our uh, upload uh, dialog so we're going to use a matte mini fab and uh, inside of it we're going to add an icon with an edit uh, icon inside of it and in the click event handler we're going to use the input field and we're going to trigger its click okay let's see how this looks okay yes it looks good but it needs some styling again so that we can have that edit button close to the profile icon so we're going to add two style two set of styles here one would be a position relative on the profile image div itself and the other would be a position absolute on the button and some styles so that we can position it correctly great now this looks better okay let's also test it out whether it's triggering the dialog box or not yes so it's triggering the dialog box so this works this works and looks much better so now let's move on to add the actual functionality of the upload so for that we are going to create a new service called um, ng generate service and we're going to put it in the services folder the service will be called image upload so that we can keep our functionality encapsulated there great the service is created and we can go to the service and the first thing we're going to do here is to include the storage the firebase storage here instance and then we're going to add an upload image function okay this upload image function is going to take the image as the first parameter this will be the file the image file that we'll get and uh, the path that we need to use which will be a string where we'll store the image and this is going to return our download url or the or the path of the file so that we can use it to set in our photo url so the first thing here uh, what we're going to do is to we're going to get a reference to the storage position and for that we have a function ref and we can call it with the storage instance and the path okay so we're going to call this storage reference great and the second thing that we need is upload task so this uh, we can um, create by using the upload bytes function upload bytes takes in the storage reference which we have from before and then the next we'll have the image file Itself. Now since this is a promise, this returns a promise here, we are going to um, convert it into an observable using the from grid. Now, now we are going to return this upload task and we are going to pipe into it so that we can get the download URL here. We are going to use switch map operator in RxJS and uh, from the upload task we are going to get back a result, upload result and we will use the get download URL function which takes in the result reference. This is also a promise so this is going to get us back uh, the download url this is exactly what we need great so this is done now the next thing that we need to do is to actually add a function in our authentication service so that we can update the profile for that user so for that we're going to write a function called update profile and the first uh, the parameter for that would be your profile data the updated profile data and this would be a subset of the user info object which contains um, the information of a user okay and the return type will be as before observable any so here we first need to get the current user so for that we are going to use this dot auth dot current user okay and um, since we need to check uh, whether uh, the user is null or not we're going to uh, return an observable here and we're going to add a concat map operator in this concat map operator we are going to check whether the user is null or not and if it is null then we're going to throw a new error which would say that okay it's not authenticated if the user is valid we are just going to return the update profile function we're going to change this to update profile data and we're going to call the update profile function here okay and this update profile function takes in the user and in the second parameter is going to take in the profile data okay so this is done so let's get back to our profile component and add all the missing pieces together so first we're going to add uh, a change event handler in our input field here 
and this we are going to call as upload image and in this we are going to uh, pass in the event uh, parameters which will be the file information but we also need the user that we are getting from here so that we can set the path correctly okay we are going to create upload image here and the first parameter would be event the second parameter would be the user okay we're going to so we have to first obviously include our image upload service so image upload service dot upload image and uh, the path here would be event dot target dot files zero this is going to get our file that we have selected and uh, the second is the path now the path uh, we can keep anything but in my case i am keeping images profile and I am the name that I am keeping here would be I'm going to convert it into a string literal and I'm going to give here user.uid. Now you can keep some other ways as well here to categorize your profile images and that would be totally fine. Keeping the file name same here means that if you upload another image, it's going to automatically delete the previous image. So we don't need to worry about images being left out on your Firebase storage. So next we're going to add a pipe to the observable return from this and obviously we need to notify the user uh, about the progress that is happening so we are going to add a toast here as well hot toast service and we will add this dot toast dot observe as before we are going to add a loading message here image is being uploaded for success we are going to say image uploaded and for error we are going to say there was an error in in uploading Great. After that, we're going to use a concat map and we're going to um, get our image URL here. So we're going to call it photo URL. Okay. And we're going to call our auth service dot update profile data function. Here we're going to pass in the photo URL that we got so that it gets updated. Lastly, we're just going to call subscribe. Okay, now I'm not doing it here, but uh, a best practice obviously is that we also need to add some unsubscription here so that we don't observable leaks. So, okay, let's try this out now. Okay, let's test this out, but we have something missing here and we need to add a menu option as well. So let's just do that now quickly. So to do that, we're going to add here, uh, apart from the logout functionality, we're also going to add here a profile page profile menu item and instead of the click function we are going to add a router link here which will be called profile okay let's see how this looks and we're going to go in profile here and let's test this out by using uh, an image here that i have so the image is being uploaded an image uploaded and it is updated in the profile as well great so this works now let's also see in our firebase console whether we can see our image or not as you can see we have two images one was which i uploaded previously and the second one is this great so this works really well the last thing that we need to do here in our tutorial is i want to change the icon here to have this image as well because this is a common way to do it so let's just go in our app.component oh we're already there okay we're just going to change the mat icon here and instead of this we're going to add an image tag as before okay here we're going to add the width as 30 pixels the height as 30 pixels and for um, the source we're going to keep it similar as it was before which was this okay and let's also add a class of profile image toolbar so we have okay so we get the profile image here as well and we get the profile in our file page as well now if we for example go in our home for example this we can see this uh, photo all the time knowing the current user is logged in let's also finally test one thing and that is to upload a different user and see what happens so let's um, ha upload another photo here a photo here of another person let's see what happens then an image is uploaded and the photo is updated in both at once and when you see in our firebase console since we are keeping the same name for the user the same uid we can see that our previous image has been replaced with that instead of being added uh, separate so it saves our space great so as you can see it's pretty easy to set up a complex piece of functionality such as image upload with firebase storage and angular in the next part we'll add some more user info to the profile screen here and store all of that data in firestore database so that you can get a taste of that as well so till then i hope you liked this video and if you did be sure to subscribe to get notified of future videos thanks for watching